Hey everybody, David Henry here from LearnStageLighting.com and I wanted to follow up the previous video on networking. We kind of talked about gear and just kind of give you an example of a, a typical networking setup just right here with this gear I've got in front of me. So we, we start our networking setup here with a console, right? So I'm going to grab one here. This is the uh, Light Shark console from WorkPro Lighting. Newer console on the market, it's one I really like, but you could be using MPC, you could be using DPro, uh, the software from Entech, or the software from Alation MPC, um, DPro is the one from Entech, MPC from Alation. Um, you could be using a whole host of things, but what matters is that it's a computer or console that has a network port. So we've got one right here that is capable of, of running that networked DMX and possibly control signal for controlling the console itself. So we're going to come out of here. And uh, the first place we're generally going to go is to a switch. So I've got this this household router here. Um, when when I'm on show site, you know I don't use this. I, I usually use just a, an inexpensive regular switch. And to tell you the truth, if if you buy a switch that's got good reviews on it, you know you might spend thirty or fifty bucks, and it's going to work until um, you start to pump a lot of DMX universes down. You know once you get to a few hundred DMX universes. At that point, you're going to want to look at something like Entex Hyperion Switch or um, Pathport or Luminex or one of those lighting brands that has built a switch for our industry. But really, until you get to that point, um, a regular, you know, decent brand switch that gets good reviews online uh, will be great. I'll, I'll link to one um, actually below that that um, has that. So console to switch. Okay, from the switch, then just as an example. Um, I may have a switch that's got DHCP, okay, or maybe it's a router, you know, like a Ubiquiti Edge router. That's actually one that uh, one of my friends has. And then I can go to an access point. So now I can control my wireless, my console wirelessly with this access point. Uh, like I mentioned in the last video, this is a Ubiquiti UAP Pro. I've been using this for uh, a good while now, and it's a rockin' access point. It's, it's really awesome. Um, you know, it's a kind of an enterprise level uh, access point that, you know, if I'm in a really crowded airspace, um, you know, in a convention center downtown, wherever, this thing always works. So I can always find a great channel and it's got a lot of power. So I'm going to power that guy either with a, um, either if my switch has power over Ethernet or I'll use a power over Ethernet injector, which just plugs in, Ethernet comes through it, power gets added, boom, plug in my access point. Now, from there, I'm going to go ahead and maybe I've got a backup console on stage or a backup PC, something like that. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to plug that guy into my switch too with, a, with an Ethernet cable. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to plug in my nodes. So I've got a node here, an Intech ODE to uh, convert that ArtNet or SACN to DMX. I can also go in at this point, maybe coming out of that switch as well. I'm going ahead and I'm going to plug in uh, some lights that are pixel mappable that take some uh, direct ArtNet or SACN signal. Then from there, as a truck goes by, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and plug in anything else that I need to have on my network. Maybe I've got a pixel controller or um, something like that. And at that point, that's really a basic network design for lighting. It's, it's not complex stuff. It's it's just that um, you can start to have some issues if you do run into trouble with your networking in lighting. Sometimes more consumer grade routers and stuff like that um, will will try to do a little too much for you, especially um, the fruit company stuff. I'm I'm so glad they discontinued their routers. Not that they were bad. It's just for what we do with entertainment with with the signal we're trying to send, the helpful features that these routers included, um, they weren't helpful, and so. Um, with that, guys, that's really a basic setup. Now, if, if you are wondering, perhaps you say, well, I need a switch, I need multiple ports at control, and I also need multiple ports at my stage. Um, you can hook up two switches together, and that's fine. You know, you would just have some devices hooked up to one switch, some hooked up to the other, and the two switches hooked together. But in essence, this is kind of the basic hookup. So check out this video. Check out the full post over at Learn Stage Lighting about beginning with show networking and be sure if you're interested and want to learn more to check out the full action plan available inside of Learn Stage Lighting Labs. Last, if you're new here on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the little bell so you get the latest videos here from Learn Stage Lighting. 
I'm David Henry saying adios for today, but I'll see you guys here soon. Thanks.